What's up everybody? It's your boy G Money back at it again with another video on the G35. So first, just want to say happy new year. Uh hopefully I had a safe uh safe new year. You know, um last year was a crazy year. So uh hopefully this year it goes a little bit better for y'all. I'm trying to do something different this year. I'm going to be more positive and you know, just be me. Uh, I was watching some of my recent videos and to me it felt like I was kind of doing everything like a script trying to perfect everything and I wasn't really being myself so this year I'm just gonna you know be me and you know just be positive so uh, hopefully this year is a better year and you know that's it so that being said to all the new subscribers thank y'all for subscribing to the channel like I said, if I get to 1500 I'm going to do something, maybe a little giveaway. Um, but for the most part, I want to show my appreciation like I always do when I hit, you know, a certain amount of subs. I, you know, at least thank y'all or do something. But, uh, uh, yeah, I'm almost at 1500 So, my goal by the end of the year is hopefully I can get 2000 So, we'll see what happens. But for the most part, uh, appreciate all y'all support. Uh, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe right down below the video. There's no fee, no extra charge or whatever. You just get some great content from your boy G Money. So that being said, if y'all saw the title to today's video, yes, uh, I do love my G35 sedan, but there is five things that I can't stand about this car. And, um, well, I think because I've had it for almost two years now, I, uh, you know, I've had it for a while. There are some things that I wish this car had or wish, uh, you know, I had my coupe. But for the most part, I'm going to give you my five reasons uh, why I hate the G35 sedan. Now, the sedan I'm talking about is, you know, not the second generation. It's, you know, more of the uh, the older school, the 2003, 4, 5, and 6 body style. So, that being said, been talking too much, so let's get this video started. <laughs> Alright, starting off with number five. So number five on my list is something that uh, I was kind of disappointed when I finally got an 06 because when I heard that they had Bluetooth on the vehicle, I was excited because I, I was always using, uh, you know, CDs to, um, you know, listen to music. So I thought, you know, the Bluetooth would be, you know, be able to sync with my phone and I wouldn't have to get an auxiliary cord or MP3 transmitter, but unfortunately guys the bluetooth on these cars is just for calling so uh yeah you have a speaker right there by the uh, dome lights and then on the steering wheel you have a you know a little button where you can you know push to call so that kind of sucks you can bluetooth but it's just only for calling so that kind of sucks because uh being that this car is a luxury car and you have heated seats power windows power locks all these features um being that the bluetooth is just used for you know calling that kind of was a downfall not only that but i just found out today that my stereo is not working as far as the cd player so um i have an mp3 transmitter but the reception on these cars is horrible the antenna sucks so you get a lot of static so it looks like I'm going to be having to upgrade my stereo and, you know, putting an aftermarket with Bluetooth. But for the most part, that's the thing that, uh, that's number five on the list that, you know, was kind of a downfall that I hate that this car doesn't have and it comes with, you know, that feature. But, you know, that being said, let's go to number four. All right, guys. So number four on the list is going to have to be that being that I have an all-wheel drive G35 sedan, well... You would think that you would have the option of a six-speed manual or an automatic. But when you have an all-wheel drive G35 sedan, you only get one uh, option. And yeah, you have the automatic. What? An automatic. Huh? It's automatic. What? It's automatic. Yeah, it's automatic. Who? Okay. No, but for the most part, yes. Um, I don't know why G35 did that. Infinity. But the all-wheel drive G35s, they only come in automatic. The real-wheel drive G35 sedans, you have the option of six-speed or you have the uh, option of automatic. 
I don't know why they did that, but I guess they had their reasons. But for the most part, that does kind of suck because I wouldn't mind having a six-speed all-wheel drive and, uh, you know, being able to control the vehicle in the snow, which it doesn't snow here in Texas, but for the most part, being able to, you know, control the vehicle. Um, I don't know why they did that, but it kind of sucks. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, that's going to have to be number four on my list is that the all-wheel drives, they only come in an automatic. All right, so number three on the list is going to be the aftermarket parts for the G35. You don't have a good variety of aftermarket parts. The only thing you can really do is customize, uh, you know, a lip kit, you know, spoilers, uh, side skirts. Um, the side skirts that I have, those don't even belong to the G35. Those are universal side skirts that you could fit on any four-door sedan. So that kind of sucks because um, if I want to get something for this car, I have to customize it. They don't really make anything. Just like my side splitter, I mean, I had to customize this. Not only that, but the same for the rear diffuser. I had to customize that. Another thing, since I'm back here, this exhaust, there's not really a variety of exhaust out there that will fit the G35 sedan. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, as you saw, the G35 sedan has a single exit. Um, compared to the coupe where you have dual exit um, that just kind of sucks because um, there's a lot of uh, exhaust out there that I want to put on the car but I have to you know get the 8, in eight inch extension and try to customize something unlike the coupe um, being that you know it's the same kind of the same body as the 350Z um, there's always you know a lot of options out there not only that, but um, when it comes to the uh, headlights and the grill and all that, being that I have 05, 06, those headlights are not going to fit on the 03, 04. The reason for that being is you're going to have a different uh, fitment. Uh, you're going you're gonna to get a gap in between um, wherever you, uh, you know, try to mount the headlight uh, for the grill too. And the hood isn't going to you know gonna make everything fit right so it's gonna look kind of off now don't get me wrong you can make it fit but for the most part as far as a perfect fitment it's not gonna work and that kind of sucks because uh, the 0304 parts are a little bit cheaper when it comes to you know uh, exterior modifications I guess compared to the 0506 um, trust me I looked it up uh, I was trying to find a grill for my 0506 and it was cheaper for the 0304 I don't know why but for the most part uh, that kind of sucks being that you know this is a luxury car but for us who want to try to make it look different and sporty um, it is a downfall when it comes to being able to uh, try to find aftermarket parts for these without having to customize stuff so that's number three on the list all right so number two on the list of things that I hate about the G35 so being that I have a sedan, I would think maybe there'd be, you know, a little bit of different changes when it came to uh, the middle console, um, being that, you know, it is a four-door. Um, nah, it's the same issues that you're going to have with the coupe. You're going to have the same issues with the sedan. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, when it comes to the middle console, you're going to have your famous cup holders that do not hold any cup for some reason. You can have a small cup. It's still going to do this side to side. If you have a large cup, it's going to tip over. Regardless, any cup size you have, you're going to always have to hold it. And that's something that I hate that the G35 has. And I would think maybe the sedan would be a little bit different, but it doesn't. Whatever. Not only that, but you still have the famous crack in between the seat and the uh, middle console. So if you drop something in there, good luck. Good riddance. Don't even try to stick your hand in there because... Uh, you're not going to be able to get it now. Luckily, a good thing is you have the back seat so you can get access to try to, you know, get whatever it is you lost in there. But for the most part, you know, if you drop something in there, um, you know, it's going to be a pain in the ass to try to get out. And that's number two on the list of things that I hate about the G35, I guess, in general, that, um, you know, you still have the same issues that it is, as the coupe does when it comes to the cup holders and, you know, dropping stuff in the seats. But for the most part, that's number two on the list. All right, so the number one thing that I hate about the G35 sedan, and I'm pretty sure 
a lot of my G35 sedan subscribers are going to agree with me on this one, which is that these back seats, they don't fold down. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you have a coupe, yes, you'll have the luxury of being able to flip down your seats, get more access, have more room in your trunk. But us G35 sedan guys, nah, we don't have that. The only way we can access to the trunk is through this little armrest. That's it. That's all we got. If we want to, you know, load some stuff up in the trunk, this is the only window we have. So if you have, you know, like fishing rods or something skinny, this is the only access you have. So, um, you know, that kind of sucks because uh, being that these, these back seats recline and all that, that's kind of nice. But it would be also nice if these seats would fold down, which they do not do. So... That kind of sucks because if you do happen to uh, have a dead battery and you need to get access to the trunk, um, you know, that's the only window you have to try to get something from the trunk. You don't have a little lever like the coupe does where you could, um, you know, have that option. The sedan guys, we don't have that. And that's the number one thing that I can't stand about this car. Yes, the back seat is nice. It reclines everything, but as far as you know getting access to the back getting more space you can't do that with this car and that's one thing that i hate and that's the number one thing that i hate about this car so with that being said um that pretty much concludes this video guys like always if you enjoyed the content put that thumbs up helps out the channel so much and i really appreciate everybody who uh you know subscribe to the channel like i said i'm gonna be positive this year i'm just gonna do my own thing so we'll see how it goes and uh, for the most part, uh, thank you to everybody who, uh, you know, participated and put their input in my recent post about whether I should rock the halos or the uh, JDM taillights. Uh, the reason why I said that is because I actually got some um, LED, well not LED, some uh, halos for the reverse lights that I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to install. So uh, I just wanted to get y'all's input if y'all still like the halos. Because if y'all did, then I'm going to, you know, install some halos, uh, reverse lights, which I haven't seen yet on the G35 sedan. So we're going to see how it turns out. And, uh, you know, if you want to check that out, stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. Y'all know the deal. But for the most part, guys, thank you for the support. And uh, that pretty much concludes the video, guys. Like always, it's your boy G Money. Y'all stay safe. Have a great day. And peace.